In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily convert M4A files over to MP3 files up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff. Thanks so much for joining me here. Uh, you're probably here because you want to convert some M4A files over to MP3 files. My goal here in this quick tutorial is to show you how to do that. If you are new to this channel, I do all sorts of other do-it-yourself tutorials with technology as well as reviewing tech and gadgets, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. So let's jump into taking a look at converting these files in iTunes. Now I do have to tell you right up front that this is only going to work for music that you have either ripped yourself or created um, if it's copy protected music or if it's from the uh, Apple Music and you have that installed on your iTunes this is not going to work this is for using files that maybe you've created that have turned out as M4A files uh, or music that you've purchased from the iTunes store that you want to put on maybe a mobile device or something that only accepts MP3s, then you can use iTunes to convert those files. So let's just take a look here at what we can do. I'm going to use uh, the best of Bob Marley as an example here. Love Bob Marley. And uh, we're going to just take a look at the settings in iTunes first because that's going to get you set up for doing those file conversions. So I've got iTunes installed and with it open on my computer here, I'm going to go to the edit pull down and go down to preferences. So in preferences, you have these different tabs up top. You want to go to general and you'll see import settings. Import settings is the settings you're going to use like if you're ripping a CD and you're turning those into digital files. But these settings also affect how you're going to convert files. So import using here, by default, iTunes has it set to this AAC encoder. They like using, they want you to use their M4A files. Uh, I would much rather prefer MP3. So I can pull this down, and I've got different options here. So I've got a wave encoder. I've got MP3s. I can do AIFFs. Uh, for this instance, we're going to do MP3 encoder. And then under settings here, depending on what quality you want, you can do good, high, higher, or if you want even more options, you can go into custom here, and that gives you even more options here for what bit rate you want. For purposes today, I'm just going to do the quality of 192. Uh, I've got some friends that like to use the higher, like 320. I'm not going to go that crazy for this tutorial here, but we'll just show you that. And real quick, in all of our tutorial videos, we hide Tinker. He is our little hidden robot. So if you see a hidden robot pop up somewhere briefly during this video, be sure to let me know where you saw him down in the comments section below, leaving the timestamp as well as your best comment to get your name and YouTube channel featured on our Tinker Forward website Hall of Fame page. So now that I've got my settings set up for converting to MP3, I'm going to click OK. And then you might also be wondering where it's putting these files. If you scroll over here to Advanced and you click on Advanced, this path here is going to show you where your music files that you've dragged into iTunes or imported into iTunes are actually saved. And in order to get to that path, you can go down to your Start button, right click, go to File Explorer. And then from here, follow that path. So hitting this PC, I can go to the C drive. I noticed here it said users, spot 5. So I can just keep going. Users, spot 5. And then from here, I can go to music. I'll see iTunes. And then iTunes Media. And then from here, under my music, that's where I'm going to have like my Bob Marley folder. All right. From that point you are ready to convert to mp3s so you've got your files here uh, that you know we'll take uh, the Bob Marley files here that are these different tracks under his album I can highlight by just clicking on one of these tracks and then I can go over here to file pull down to convert and then under here I'll see mp3 now if you would have changed this to wave or the AIFF in your settings that I just showed you you're gonna have that option for creating instead of this mp3 if you are going to convert and seeing create and you're seeing like the AAC file and not mp3 again make sure you go back to those import settings and change those settings there so from this point I've got is this love I'm going to create an mp3 version and I will take it, it'll take a second here, but I'm now going to see that there is another 
uh, there are two versions of this song, this Is This Love and then Is This Love Here. I'm not quite sure uh, which one of these is the MP3 and which one is the, uh, the M4A file. I can find that out by highlighting and then right clicking on this track and then going to Show in Windows Explorer. From this point, this brings up the exact folder, that same path that I showed you before, of where these files are located. And if I go over to type here, I can see that here's an M4A version and here's an MP3 version. The file that I clicked on in iTunes is actually highlighted here in these windows. And again, if you don't have like this type selected under your Windows Explorer, you can go to this bar up top anywhere, right click, and you'll have options here to check mark like type that would get rid of it. I can select that again, that brings that up so I can see what file is what. Now from this point, you can go back and if you wanna do a whole album, you could select the first track and then you could go down to all the way to the bottom here and I can hold down my shift key on my keyboard and then click on that last song and these are all selected. Now if I go back to file and convert, to mp3 that is going to convert all of these files at once to mp3s and just like this first one you're going to start seeing duplicate names of each one of these now it's your choice if you want to keep both versions the m4a and the mp3 uh, if you want to delete the the uh, m4a file you can just highlight that right click and then go to delete from library and this is going to give you the option here if you want to delete the song. Now, if you go to delete the song, it's going to ask you if you just want to delete it out of iTunes and uh, keep the file, which means that when we go back to this folder showing your music of Bob Marley, those files, those M4As will still be here. They're just not going to show up in your iTunes library. Or you've got the option in iTunes where you could actually... Uh, move everything to the recycle bin and then that's going to get rid of this file as well as the file in that folder. So those are different options here that you have uh, in using different songs that you've got loaded onto iTunes. So the other thing I want to show you is that you can do this with any type of M4A files. It doesn't just have to be music that you have put on your computer. Uh, another instance would be that I have been using Zoom to do video chat calls and uh, what I like to do is record those calls so that I can use them later on. Uh, let's say you run a podcast or you want to use the audio versions of those audio Zoom calls. Zoom will give you the option where you can record the video chat, but it'll also make a separate audio only file for you and it saves it as an M4A file. You can take that M4A file and drag it right into iTunes. And then you'll see right here that that call shows up. I can click on that and make sure I highlight that file. And then again, do my file convert, create that MP3 version. We're actually going to hear that it's going to create another version, which now we see it right here. Uh, if I want to locate it, I can highlight it, right click, go to show in Windows Explorer. And now it actually saves it in that same path where it's saving all of my iTunes music. But from here, I've now got an MP3 version of that Zoom call that I can throw into some sort of uh, audio editor and do whatever I want with it, or I can put it on, say, uh, some sort of a smartwatch or other music player, or do whatever I need to do with that MP3 file. So for free, you can convert all these MP4 files into MP3s very easily using iTunes. So if this video helped you out, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to Tinker Forward yet, be sure to do that as well. I've got some other great tutorial videos here, uh, things on how to save space on your phone, as well as all sorts of tutorials on using Zoom video conferencing. There'll be links to those down in the description as well as at the end of this video. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Forward. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. So I can go into these Zoom call titles, which aren't very exciting, and go to Song Info. And then I can change this to something a little bit uh, more fun. Jeff is awesome. Yeah, there we go. Now I think I'm going to sit back and listen to some Bob Marley.